Hello again, fellow crafters. Uh, just bringing you a tutorial today showing you how you can take a photograph of a loved one or yourself or anything really and upload it into Cricut Design Space without any additional software. Uh, I know a lot of people like to do these for like the memorial blocks. Um, I even saw a lot at Christmas, you know, where people were wanting to put them on ornaments and stuff like that. Uh, this also would be really awesome uh, for any of your etching pro projects that you might have that you might want to do um, where you just need kind of like a stencil and you want to do the photograph. So I'm going to show you how you can actually do that directly in Cricut Design Space. Um, no extra plugins or add-ons or, or software is necessary. So when we're in here, we're going to click on Upload. And we're going to go and find our image. So I picked a photo, and this is an old photo, uh, that we're going to play with real quick. You can to our editing screen as soon as it catches up with me. Whoops, I hit a button I wasn't supposed to. So here's our editing screen, which is where it brings us next. And this is where you're going to actually um, remove some of this stuff so you can get something that is cuttable. So under the advanced options here, you can reduce the number of colors. Right now, because this is a photograph, you know, it's got every color. So we can change it down to two. And we're going to wait for a minute for it to process that. And once we have reduced our colors, then we'll be able to use our magic eraser. I call it the magic eraser because it's magical. It erases a bunch of stuff at once, which I really like. And we're going to go in and cut out some of this area. And for this, we're going to be cutting out this lightest shade that, that they have here. So I'm going to increase my color tolerance a bit. And I'm going to just start clicking on these lighter areas. And because it's a photograph and there's a lot of them, you know, this is something that, that will take a few minutes. Um, you know, it's definitely not as quick and automatic as doing this in a different software, um, but it is definitely something that can be done with just a little bit of patience. Just going through and clicking on these areas. So because I don't want to bore you to death, and I know my focus tolerance, I guess, is not too high. You know, I don't want to sit here and make you just watch me do all these little bitty pieces and such. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you do do all these little pieces and such. So hold on just one second. Let it catch up to me. So basically, like I said, I'm just, I just went in and did the lightest areas. You could go in and do the two lighter areas if you wanted to, uh, because you can always preview it right here by clicking the preview button and kind of see what you've got so far. So let me let that load. So there that is. Um, so you can choose to do the two lighter areas. Um, you could choose to do the darker area, uh, whatever it is that, that you're wanting, depending on what look that you're going for. And then when you do get finished, and again, I'm not going to sit here and do all of them right now, you hit the continue button. And on the next screen, you're going to get the save as a print and then cut or save it as a cut. And we save it as a cut because we are going to want to cut it out. And you can see, I mean, it's not too shabby for just the quick, you know, 30 seconds or so that I spent clicking on some of those areas. Uh, and then you would hit save. All right. So because I already did all of that, I just want to show y'all 
what it ended up looking like right here. So this was done completely in Cricut Design Space just a few minutes ago. I just didn't want you to have to sit here and watch me click all those little bitty areas. And so you can see that you get a pretty, a pretty good, what I want to call like a black and white or a silhouette image of the photograph that you can then take, cut out, and use on, uh, you know, on glass, uh, on a memorial, on one of those memorial blocks or something like that, and um, and have something really cute. So I hope that you found this helpful, knowing that you don't need any additional software or extra special skills or anything like that to take a photograph that you have and make it into something that you can cut out. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.